Hi everybody, uh, this is Ishai. Um, I'd like to show with you uh, today a very interesting development uh, in the market. We're tracking the introduction of a new category by Gartner called uh, the Secure Access Service Edge or SASE. SASE has uh, showed up uh, initially on Gartner's hype cycle for enterprise networking 2019, which was published on July. The hype cycle is a way for Gartner to track different technologies in enterprise networking and where they sit on the enterprise uh, adoption cycle. To the left are emerging technologies that are kind of climbing up the slope as they become more recognized by enterprises. And on the right is where those technologies uh, get better understood uh, by enterprises uh, with their potential and ultimately uh, the full mainstream adoption until those technologies phase out. So SASE obviously uh, is an early edge technology, early stage technology. What's interesting is that Gartner maps out 29 different technologies and categories into this table to the left. Uh, a technology can be low, have low impact on IT, have moderate impact on IT, which means that it's beneficial, but not you know, strategic. Uh, some technologies have high impact, such as SD-WAN and firewall as a service, which means that they're gonna change um, in some significant way, the way IT does business. But only three uh, technologies uh, on this hype cycle are transformational. Transformational means that a technology or a category will deeply change the way IT uh, is run, is managed, and the way it supports the business. And so the secure access service edge or SASE is such category. So what is SASE? Gartner states that SASE services will converge a number of disparate network and network security services, including SD-WAN, Secure Web Gateway, CASB, SDP, DNS protection, and firewall as a service. And this is the first time that Gartner recognizes that the need to converge multiple technologies into a single service, which has been Cato's vision since we were founded in 2015. Now, why is it? Why is it that convergence is now needed? And the reason um, is obvious again, uh, digital transformation and the adoption of mobile, cloud, and edge fundamentally change net network traffic patterns rendering existing network and security models obsolete. To the right, you can see how Cato views this problem. Essentially, the proliferation of point solutions is a result of the change in the network topology from a physical branch and data center network to cloud, mobile, and global footprints. So, what is it the customers need uh, from their new network? And what they need in you know, moving forward uh, as they try to transform their businesses, they need simplicity, scalability, flexibility, performance, and security. And this will drive a convergence of these two distinct markets, the networking market and the security market have to come together. And we couldn't agree more. Basically, this uh, has been our value proposition to all of our 400 customers. The fact that Cato, with the Cato Cloud, has built a converged software stack that delivers a wide range of networking and security capabilities within a scalable and flexible cloud service that is easy to manage. Next is the move towards an identity-based uh, security and networking. So identity is essential to be able to grant uh, quality of service, ensure service levels, and deliver security services based on who, uh, who is connecting uh, to the network as opposed to where they live or where they sit. 
And we have infused identity awareness throughout the Cato service. We know for each session, for each connection that is connected or that is established into the Cato cloud, who is the user, who is the identity behind that session. This is seamlessly built into uh, the entire Cato platform, which is identity-driven and identity-aware. Next is uh, how would a SASE architecture look like? And Gartner says most SASE offerings will be purpose-built for scale-out, cloud-native, and cloud-based delivery. And yet, again, this is the, uh, the description of the Cato architecture. Cato Cloud is built on a cloud-native and high-performance traffic processing engine. We deliver all the capabilities from that cloud service, optimizing network traffic to the data center, to the cloud, globally, and then inspecting through deep packet inspection capabilities uh, the traffic for threats with our next generation firewall, secure web gateway, anti-malware, IPS, and other security capabilities. These are all delivered through this cloud-native, cloud-based platform. Next, we have to deliver the service globally. Gartner states that SASE requires a cloud delivery-based approach favoring providers with many points of presence, or POPs. And it's not going to be enough just to use cloud providers like AWS and Azure. You have to make a significant investment to ensure that your service is geographically dispersed to support all business resources for your customers. Over the past four years, Cato has built that network, which now spans 50 global points of presence, which are totally independent of the cloud provider's footprint, and we are adding three or four pops every quarter. Using this footprint, we're actually able to push out the networking and the security services that are part of the cloud native architecture to be in close proximity for every location, every user, every device that is used by our customers. And lastly, there is a requirement for SASE to support not only branches, but users and clouds. Gardner states that some agent-based capabilities, clients, will be necessary for devices, and some on-premise-based capabilities will be required for quality of service and path selection. And everything has to be cloud-managed. Cato, by design, is, uh, has been architected to support all edges. A physical edge, like a headquarters, a data center, or a branch, a cloud edge, like AWS, Azure, and others, mobile edges for both desktops, laptops, and mobile devices, iOS and Android, and of course, connecting all of those among themselves and towards internet-based services like Office 365 uh, and other uh, services. So this has been designed and built in and architected, not bolted on uh, after the fact uh, using acquisitions or third-party product integrations. So this is the overall Cato architecture, and you can see the different pieces we talked about, the converged network security stack, the POPs, the different uh, edge uh, solutions that we have, appliances and clients, the way we integrate cloud infrastructure and cloud applications. In total, Cato has all the different uh, components that entail a SASE service, identity-driven and cloud-native traffic processing engine that is distributed globally over multiple points of presence, supporting all edges, physical, cloud, and mobile, and fully managed through a cloud-based management console. So if this is SASE and Cato is a SASE platform, what isn't SASE? Gartner warns customers that they have to be aware that SASE is really about architecture and implementation. SASE isn't the chaining of point solutions, linking together different products 
especially if it came from uh, if they came from different acquisitions. Why? Because each code base, each product requires separate management, separate footprint, and it becomes very difficult to scale that product, that service offering globally when so many when you have so many moving parts. SASE is also not about on-premises boxes. SASE offerings that rely on boxes will be unable to meet the requirements of an increasingly mobile workforce and latency-sensitive applications. Why? Gartner gives a simple example. They basically state that you cannot, you don't want to bring the traffic to where your engines, your uh, networking and security engines reside, but you want to make sure that those engines are available to process uh, the traffic in close proximity to the source. Okay? This is basically two contradicting architecture where the SASE cloud-based approach uh, is actually naturally aligned with processing traffic close to the source where using appliances require, requires traffic to be delivered to where those engines are in the data centers, the branches, and the other physical locations where they typically reside. Lastly, SASE is not a telco bundle. The telcos are combining uh, the worst of both approaches. They use CPE or appliance-based strategy using technologies they do not own, have not developed, and are not cloud-native in nature, which means the SASE creates an alternative. Gartner calls it an existential threat to the telco strategy that is based on those elements. So if so what is when will SASE be deployed? Well, SASE is actually available or driven by catalyst that uh, customers are experiencing today in the business. On one hand, this MPLS offload and MPLS replacement projects that are led by SD-WAN, network security and networking equipment refresh cycles that creates an opportunity to move from a physical firewalls to firewall as a service, and on the flip side, the introduction of new uh, kind of projects to enable secure and optimized access for the mobile workforce. These projects go beyond physical locations and into mobile scenarios. And Cato covers all these bases seamlessly, which means that Cato is future-proofing your network and security. You can start with projects that are focused on the physical locations, such as SD-WAN and global connectivity, expand it to include security capabilities, and ultimately extend uh, the deployment to cover cloud resources and mobile users, uh, all within the same platform. This is the SASE vision, essentially, which is you will not have to go and integrate, duct tape, bundle, uh, and otherwise deploy point solutions for point needs, you can grow with a single platform that is designed to deliver the capabilities that you need when you need them. The bottom line, Cato is the world's first SASE platform that natively converges SD-WAN and network security in the cloud. Other players have bits and pieces of these architectures. Some have cloud capabilities. Some have on-prem capabilities. Some blend them. But no other player in the world right now has a well-thought-out, purposely built, designed from the ground up to deliver a SASE platform. This is what Cato had done in the last five years. So what about the features? So Gartner lists many features and product capabilities that could be built into the SASE platform. You can see here on the right side within the ring all the different capabilities Keto already covered. We have quite a coverage. But the point is that it's very easy to add capabilities that we do not currently have because we have the right architecture, the right engine to build this capability into. So this is essentially uh, the point is that it's easy to add features to the right architecture, and it's very difficult to add features through acquisitions, through integrations, through trying to bundle things 
in, in some loosely coupled way, which ultimately means that things don't scale well, do, are not delivered properly in the, in the global sense, uh, requires a lot of uh, maintenance and costs, and that essentially defeats the purpose of SASE. To close, what are the key takes? So SASE is a major driver of digital transformation across WAN, the WAN edge, security, cloud, and mobility at a global scale. And the Keto Cloud is a SASE platform that enables a smooth digital transformation journey. This is what IT is looking for to gradually move to this converged platform. Next, SASE is a new architecture. It's not a retrofit of legacy networking and security point solutions and architectures. You don't evolve from duct taping appliances, services, and other components together. You need to architect the everything from the ground up as a converged cloud native service. And lastly, SASE is future proofing networking and security. The cloud first model of SASE enables rapid delivery of new capabilities and a cloud-based architecture easily support current and new edges. And the Keto Cloud is a very good example of how the right architecture can rapidly evolve to address current and emerging business needs as we uh, uh, quickly roll out new capabilities that seamlessly show up in our customer consoles and underlying infrastructure without them having to maintain scale, size, uh, or otherwise uh, support the infrastructure. They just have to focus on running the business. Thank you for listening. And to learn more about how Cato fits into the SASE story, visit us at catonetworks.com slash SASE. Thank you.